I'm Natalia Hepworth in Idaho Falls. Today I'm here at Sam's Club and I know a lot of you have been worried about food shortage and supply shortage in regards to the solar eclipse that's happening on August 21st. Today I'm here with Sean and he's going to tell me what it's been like with customers coming in and trying to prepare for the solar eclipse. You know, it's been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of uh, members in town trying to get ready for the eclipse and uh, we know that it's going to be busy and we've prepared for it. We've got a lot more merchandise coming in and we brought in additional water supply, we brought in additional generators, so if there are issues, we're prepared for it. I think that we should head back to the milk and eggs and bread. Those are the items that are essentials for members that have, they've been coming in to pick up on a regular basis. People have been bulking up and buying a lot of extra. We don't want our members to feel like that they have to rush in and get it all right away. Right this very second, we want them to know that, that we're going to have product and we're going to continue to get it all week long. So. Um, the, How many uh, gallons of milk do you think that you've received in the last two weeks? Uh, probably over 5,000 gallons in the last two days. Wow. Yeah, so it's been really, really crazy. But uh, as you can see, we, uh, we continue to have, um, you know, a, a wide selection and variety. Well, I'm glad you guys are ready. All right, thank you. I'm here at Brolum's in Ammon, and I'm trying to get to as many grocery stores as possible. Obviously, I can't make it to all of them, but let's go see what Brolum's is doing to prepare for the solar eclipse. What have you guys been doing here to prepare and to keep stocked? Yeah, so we've been preparing for months. We've kind of had a plan that we've uh, been working on for a while now, um, whether it's between um, getting our um, loads in big last week to try to prepare a little bit for people coming in, um, and increase shopping. Um, so yeah, we've just been uh, ordering more, having more people on staff and trying to make sure we have things in stock for people. I know people are worried about what people have or what we have in the store as far as product and, um, and in stock levels. Um, but if you know, just as long as people are being patient with us and kind of work with us right now, we have everything, milk, bread, eggs, bananas, bread, anything you need, we have in stock. What about things like canned food items and diapers? Canned food items and diapers, we do not have an issue with. Um, we keep a, a pretty big uh, inventory on diapers I have, and, and on canned foods especially. Um, and so as far as box goods, prepared goods, um, dry grocery, I haven't had issues. Really, the issues we've seen has been where people have bought a lot more has been milk, eggs, bread, and butter. So yeah. Great. So if people want to come shopping today, they're going to be safe. Yeah. Right? When you when you come in and shop in our store today, you're going to have uh, product on the shelves and a lot of happy people here to greet you and help you find your groceries. Awesome. So, well, yeah. I'm glad you guys are ready. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to be. I'm here at Smith's with store director Steve. Tell me a little bit about what what traffic has been like with customers coming in and out and preparing for the eclipse. Of course, it's been crazy here at Smith's. We've we've been having a lot of fun. It's really fun seeing all these people. New people are starting to come in town. People are just getting prepared right now. It's mostly locals that are coming to this store right now. Um, they're just getting prepared for people coming over to their houses, people camping with them and stuff like that. You know, it's been a lot crazier than normal. We're up almost 120% over last year. So we're doing double to triple what we normally do. But, you know, the things we're, we got going on is we've got, you know, we've got extra trucks in the back. We've got extra ice. You know, on hand, we got extra pallets of water coming in, extra truckloads for them. So you said that you guys have enough food, but you're running short on workers, is that right? Yeah, the workers is the hardest part of it. When you only have a short time period like what we're going through with Eclipse, you can't hire people and turn around and let them go. So we do have people working six, seven days a week that's all voluntary. You know, they're, they're doing it by volunteering and some of them like it because they're getting a little extra money and stuff like that. But so far everybody's doing fantastic and we're just trying to have fun with it. So the biggest question I have for you and the audience might have as well, do you guys have enough bananas for everybody in East Idaho? Yes, we're fantastic with our bananas. So we actually we got an extra shipment coming in tomorrow, so we're good on our bananas. So. Why is that? Why have people been so crazy about buying bananas? I think it's just a breakfast item. I don't think we expected bananas to sell like that. It is a breakfast thing. I think people with people coming over their houses are just getting things for their family members to eat for breakfast. So, and I think that was thing that this, we just overlooked. Well, there you have it. Store directors and managers all over East Idaho are making sure that they're prepared and that their stores are stocked before, during, and after the eclipse. For all your latest eclipse information, go to eastidahonews.com. In Idaho Falls, I'm Natalia Hepworth, eastidahonews.com.